the stick bait. Oh, yep, yep. On the light setup. <laughs> so you try to double up on the one bait. What's going on guys? Welcome to the men's Fraser trip in August 2022. My name is Matt and I'm joined alongside me as always behind the camera. The hey. one, the only, the leader of all for survival, Nathaniel. How yes. are you brother? Yeah, decent. Going well? Should be good. We are here, we've got um, we've got the guys here, we've got nine of us in total on the trip here. So we've got the boys here, say hi guys. How you going Brad? Guys. Howdy. Howdy. How you going? Two other guys here. This is yeah. Alec. And this is David. How you going, David? Hey. Any 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 thoughts before we head on? Oh, keen as a bean. Got some got some great lures ready to go. So we're gonna smash his tail of this trip. It's gonna be absolutely ripper dipperish. Yeah. Right. Sounds See you guys good. Soon. day three of the men's Fraser trip in August 2022. It is, couldn't tell you, probably about 5 o'clock, 5.30 yeah, in the morning. Uh, we're about to go crack it on fishing up yeah. north, Taylor fishing at uh, Spot X. Yeah, looking forward to it and yep. um, hopefully you see a lot of fish. Yep. Holy dooly, have a look at this guys. This is nuts. Just a huge lineup of cars and people fishing in the one gutter for the same school of Taylor. It's honestly mayhem, so we're keen to get stuck into them. Oh, here we go. It's gonna be a ripper. Let's see how we go. Again, 70 gram. Still haven't caught anything this trip on it. So, 50 pound liter, big 13 foot slug rod. Go big or go home. Let's see what happens. No wind, so we're really able to reef it out there far. Come on. Oh, good hit. Oh, got him. Yep, yep. Got him. Decent. Come on. Let's land him. It's decent. Yep, there he is. Yes. What a tailor. That's actually really good. Look at that, guys. Ripper. Oh, what a tailor. Have a go at that one, fellas. Just on the 70 grammar. Wow, he hit hard. Look at that. 70 gram Halco Twisty. I'll give him a quick measure. Give him a bleed. Ooh, yeah. He's probably 45. That'll do. It's decent, probably high 40s. We'll give him a bleed and then get right back into it, eh? Oh, I got him. Well, hey, right at the bank. Go, Alec. Nice. All right, let's try and get another one. Oh, David's on. Look at him. Right out there. Let's reef this in. Come on. Two from two. Oh, there he is. There he is, ain't it odd? Wow. Two from two. Keep his head down. Another one, guys. Just on the slug. Oh, wow. Madness. Oh, it's a good tailor, too. Hit really hard. Look at that. Munched it. 
Oh, really good, Taylor. Really good. Oh, yeah. Another one. Just on the slug. <laughs> Decent size. Look at that. So we're just absolutely casting it as far as we can. That's nice. That's got to be close to 50, that one. All right, let's get going. 70 grammer. Oh, everyone's scabby doing spots. Fairly decent sized tailor. So, let's go on the extra light setup. All right, light setup. 20 gram slug. Um, yeah, just it's going light. I think we're over each other. Yeah. Oh! Come on! Come on! Yes! A little setup! <laughs> yes! A little setup! Where am I? Okay. The one to three kilo rod. Oh, did it shake it? No, I'm still on. Come on. One to three kilo rod. There he is. Oh, little man. Oh, wow. Come on. Hey, little man. I think this sky's a bit too small. I mean, he probably is a keeper. Yeah, 38. Plenty. All right, update. I'll give you guys a look. I just snapped my line, but I got my lure back, luckily. So, bam. Mm. Bad that one biggest for 48. So, yeah, I'll take that for sure. We'll see if we can get a few more. All right, let's get the big setup again. Come on, Taylor. Got him. Yep, that's oh, good. Straight up. That's no good. way. As it lands, that's really good at hard. Taylor on metal slug. Ripper. Getting close to 40, maybe. Not huge. Right, so we're back where we're staying. Um, we had a really nice tailor session. We love the work, but I'll show the fish. Um, so yeah, there's the fish we got. So quite a few dart, tailor, decent sized tailor, getting you know close to that 50, centi 50 centimeter mark. So not too bad. So we'll probably fill it them salve, put them in a bit of ice. Let's go have a look at a bit of bit of brekkie with the boys. Look at this, Brecky man. Oh. Mate, that's nice. Trying to pick up storm. The man himself. We'll have a good feed and see you guys later. Sunrise. All right, we're at the spot. I'm gonna start off with the Nomad stick bait, because I can. Stick bait it is. Come on. Bit of a bar. Oh. Oh, jumped out. Oh, jumped out. They're jumping out for it. Flopping air. Stick bait! Yeah! On the stick bait! Oh, double! Oh! Feels decent! No! No! Oh! On the stick bait! Man, that was crazy! Did yours come up too?
Got him! Yep! Good fish! Oh, oh feels good. On the stick bait! The riptide! Let's go. Good fish. Look at that. First fish on the riptide. Come on, that is just sick. Look at that. On the riptide. Come on. Can't get much better than that. The 105 fast sink riptide. Holy dilly. Just in this blue sardine color. And look at that, big Taylor. That is sick, just on the little rod too. Get him out, bleed him, we'll chuck him in. These things are 35 grams, so they cost decent. Yeah, just so cool when they hook up. Come on. Got him! Oh! Get him again! Man, they're loving this lure. Absolutely crushing it. Wow. Crazy. Come on, let's hook one. Let's land him. Go! Oh, hit! Mark's tightening up this drag a bit. Just to really set the hooks. So yeah, 50 pound leader. About 20 pound braid. And mate, it's doing the damage. It's great, come on. Come on. Come on. Go! Oh, hit! Go! Oh. They're smashing it! It's nuts! Beats and on! Alright, I'm just gonna let it sink and then I'm gonna go for it. Here we go. Come on. Got him! Yep. Oh, this is decent. Oh, this feels decent. Oh, holy dilly. This feels decent. No. No! That was good. That was really good. Oh, come on. Come on, Riptide. You can do it. They're on. Oh, right there. Right there. Oh, that's big. Holy dilly. Oh, oh jumping out. Yeah. Look at him go. Oh wow. Another one. Actually a bit smaller this one. I thought it was decent, but. Yeah. Look at that. How good is that, guys? Look at it. The 105 Fast Sync Riptide. 35 gram long cast. This thing is gold. In the sardine color, I'm pretty sure. Mate. Unbelievable. They're just smashing it like. When they hit it, flop and heck do they hit it hard. Like steam trains. So yeah, good fish, we'll get into some more. David's on. Yeah, a little Nomad inch or spin that I usually use for tuna or mac or inshore. We're having fun just with a nice little twin power. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, look at him jumping. Come on. Him again, stick bait. Beaten on the swamp donkey. 
Yeah. I like in the lure. Little man. Although, way. So there we go. We're just absolutely loading up. This nomad lure is doing so much damage. A little riptide. Gun. There we go. Really nice fish. Come on. Oh, got him in the waves. Yep, another one. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, popped it. This lure is gonna have some proper chop marks by the end of it. Got him? Good one? Oh, did you drop him? Got him! Yep. Oh! Are you serious? Oh, right there! What? Oh! Oh! Look at the eagle, guys! Holy dilly, this fella literally ate it right there. Nuts. There we go, that's another one, guys. Nomad stick bait. Look how much he smashed it. And great hooks, too. These fellas aren't gonna bend out. We're gonna feed the eagle. Should I just chuck it? Feedson, should I chuck it? Should I chuck it? Here it comes. Here it comes! Hey! <laughs> there it goes! It's happy! <laughs> I'm using my rod, it's called the Daiwa Swamp Donkey. Thanks to Beads, one of his old rods. She's great. I want to get a big fella. Oh, got him. Yep, another one. Oh, another one. Little man. That's really nice. There we go, just another one. Oh, beads, look at it. Holy dilly, my stick bait is romped up. Absolutely romped. But that's another one. Oh, Alex, Alec is on. Oh, I got him, yep. He doesn't feel that big. Nah, it's all good. Oh, there he goes. And average. It's quick release. Got him. Yep. Yep. Just there. Not huge, but we'll take it. He's a bit small, but there we go. Look at that hook set on the Nomad. This thing has absolutely gotten rumped. All right, well, that was pretty crazy. We just had them, you know, pretty thick through there. Just pretty much every cast get hits on lures. I was just using, yeah, obviously the Nomad 105 fast sinking riptide. I'm pretty sure this is in the pilchard color. But yeah, if you have a look, you'll see how many bite marks this thing has. There we go. It's nuts, like all around. Yeah. And like this side too, just absolutely chockers. So that was very cool. I think I got about five keepers, um, drop keeps. That was a decent one, but you know, good size tailor. Dad got, I think, what was it, 52? Yeah, Same 52, retailer. biggest one. We were using also Hakko Twisties, seemed to work really well, but yeah, so much fun. So I'm gonna try the new Nomad Slug and give it a go. All right, this is the new Nomad, I believe it's called the Ridgeback. It's the new slugs they made. Um, they come in different sizes, I think, maybe 20, 40, 60, 80. Um, I'm pretty sure. So this is the 60 gram. 
And mate, they just look great. Yeah, and these hooks are just unbelievably sharp. But yeah, with 60 grams, I should be able to cast out a bit further, which is what I'm after. So we'll give it a go. Here we go. Nomad Ridgeback. Already can tell. It seems like it has really nice design to help it fly through the air. Nice and thin, not much aero resistance. So it's pretty cool. It's good to go. That cast great. That cast great. Come on. Oh, got him. Yup. On the slug. I saw him follow it. Oh, feels heavy. Holy dilly. Oh, walk back. Come on. Don't spit it. Don't give them any. He's not jumping out, which is good. Yes. That's a good one. That's a nice one. Yes. Oh, that didn't take long. Oh, it came up. Yes. Oh, Ripper. On the new Nomad Slug. That didn't take long at all. Look at that. That's a good Taylor hag. That's a really good tailor, just on the 60 gram Nomad Ridgeback Slug, I believe it's called. How good is that? That's, that'll be up over 40 for sure. 45, getting close to 50. That's good stuff. But yeah, we're pretty much just casting out as far as you can and winding in pretty fast. Oh, oh I got him. Yup, yup, no way. And one in super fast, and they just smash it like that. Oh, that's a good one. That's good. Try and keep their head down if you can. Because, mate, these things can spit the hook super easy. So, see how we go. I find a good of, bit of sideways pulling is it's usually good. Come on. We'll bring them towards the bank. All right, come on. Wait. Wait. Oh. I've hooked Wado and Wado's got a fish. <laughs> oh, wasn't even the slug. I fought that up. <laughs> That's funny. Oh well. He hooked it, I pulled it in. <laughs> That's funny. I've never had that happen. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Did you just feel your, it go loose? Uh, oh well. Yeah, it was coming towards me like, what happened? Yeah. So I, I, I hooked this. Did you this, just video that? Yeah. <laughs> all on video. I hooked this sinker, pulled the whole fish in. Turns out it's Wado's fish. Well, there Thanks, you have man. it. No, yeah, no problem. Pleasure. <laughs> it's <a> decent fish. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Good hit. Out deep. Oh, had him. Pulled the hooks. You are joking. Oh, there he is. Another one. Just in close this time. Oh, yes. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Oh. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Oh, man, they give you... Oh, no, spat it right there. No way. Literally spat it right there. All right, so we just had that cracking tailor session. As you can see, this is uh, the outcome. It's pretty good. I think we got about 85 um, between us, which is really cool. Quite a few on lures, quite a few on bait. But, um, Show the biggest one. Yeah, this is the biggest. Um, 52. Dad caught this one. Not a bad tailor at all, so <laughs> thumbs up for dad. Um, but yeah, hopefully next couple of days we can get into some really big stuff, hopefully find where the stonk is at. And here's all the likely characters. Yeah. Caught some fish. Those are all the lads. Yeah. So good stuff guys. Good well. Alright, all right, and uh, we'll see you guys later.
Right, so we're getting close to the Taylor School. Just going up north, and I thought I'd um, show you some of the lures I'm keen to try. This is the Nomad Mad Scad 155 mil sinking. Um, I believe it's 75 grams, but this thing is pretty grudger. So I'm gonna probably tie on that first on my big rod, and yeah, give it a go because if I get something on that, big. All right. We've got Mr. Beast out. How good does that look? Like, honestly, such a good looking lure. Oh, got him on the big bait. Holy dilly. On the big bait, no way. Oh, spat it, that was on the big bait. All right, well, quick update. We're gonna change spots, it's gone a bit quiet, but flopping, I had a fish on that. Holy dooly. See if I can see any teeth marks, but just spat it, but I think I see a bit of teeth marks at the top. All right, I'm gonna throw around the uh, Ridgeback Slug, Nomad Slug, 60 grammer, just to see if they're here. And the Halco Twisty, 70 gram. No, 55 gram. Ah, 55. And if they are here, I'm bringing out the big fella. Oh, David, got a fish on the Halco Twisty. Halco Twisty. I saw that strike, that was grudger. Not too bad. Yeah, a little, probably 40 centimeters. Yeah, 40. Good stuff. There we go. Yeah. Oh. Got him. Yep. Got him on the big one? No, this is the little slug. Got him. He actually feels pretty good. He's pretty large. Yeah, it's a good one. Look at that. Come on. Drag it on down. There we go. Just on the Nomad Slug. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Just on the Nomad Slug. 60 grammer Ridgeback. Crunched it. That's a solid and a half Taylor. Oh right, well, we'll give it to Nick. All right, so we caught one on the uh, Nomad Ridgeback. These things absolutely dominate. They have such a cool design and it helps us, um, the lure actually stay in the water well with their design at high speeds winding, which is really nice. So you can wind it super fast and it just stays in the water without skipping on the surface. So, yeah. We are gonna try some big stuff now. Try Mr. Big Rod, Mr. Anderson here. We go. See if it works. All right, big girl's out. Here we go. Got him! Oh, oh, good hit. Come on. Got him! Oh, oh, come on. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. Got a slight tangle up. Got him! Yes! Yes! Finally! We've done it! On the big girl! Look at that! The big Nomad Mad Scad 150mm sinking. Such a cool looking colour too. Not too bad of a tailor, but still, they're pretty hungry. It's not a monster. Not bad. Chest's a pretty decent one. Yeah. Yeah, 40, 42, 43. I'm going to try something different. Well, not really. Um, it's what worked well. 
last tail session is um, the stick bait. So I've got 50 pound leader. Go through there, go through the split ring. I like to twist it a good 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Probably, probably about eight actually, I'd say. Um, put it back through the hole before the split ring. Grab it, put a bit of spit on it, and then get a good grip. And if you did it right, it should just tie down, just like that. And that ain't coming free. And then we just cut the tagline off, and we are ready to go. Go! <laughs> Wait, beads! Beads! No way! Beads had a double up. No way! Where'd you get their beads? On, on one rig. Gang. Yeah. On the one bait. Yep. Holy dilly. Yeah. Look at that. That's nuts. Heidi did it the other day too. Yeah, these are a bit bigger than those, but. Mm. Good on ya. David's on. Was that our deep? Oh, got him. Double. Yep, there we go. Finally, that was a lot of casting on the stick bait. Come on, We've got a double. Oh, triple, triple. We got a triple, quadruple. Oh, Nick's on fifth ethyl. We got fifth ethyl. I still got mine. Him, his. Yeah, mine's a little rat too. But mate, I'll... oh no, no, no! Oh, that's right. I hooked my leg. Oh well. We pretty much. I think I touched him too with my foot. But that's right. Quick release. David's on. Dad's got another one. Oh, got him. Yep. Oh, I got him. It's not hooked my leg again. There we go. Oh, rat scrat. There we go. Little rat scrat. Oh, got him. Yep. Holy dooly. Holy dooly. Smallest one ever. Got him again. Two from two. There we go. Two from two. Uh, oh, beads. Is that decent? Oh. Go, beads. It's done. Hey, look. Oh, no. Jumped out. Popped ya. All right. I've got the light rod out because I just want to have some fun. I've tied on the same lure, though. One that's been catching me pretty much all my fish. Just the riptide. So, but yeah, this rod's one to three kilos. Oh yeah, Matt! Get on film, Matt! on the Nomad Mad Scat. I mean the Nomad Slug. This pink collar for the Nomad Slug has absolutely dominated. Oh, he's he's alright. So there we go. Nice beads. Yeah, not bad. Just on the slug. Yeah. Pink is dominating. dominating. <laughs> oh, yep, yep. Right there. Beads! Oh. 
Holy dilly, on the light set up. Oh. <laughs> oh wow. Come on, gotta keep them on. Look at this rod. I thought, cause- One to three. Yeah, one to three. <laughs> Come on, son. Here he comes. Yeah. One to three, let's go. Wow, that's so much fun. Look at that. Done it. Just found a little section where he was. Got the Nomad slug, instead of imitating a pilchard collar. 60 grammer. And mate, decent tailor. We'll get him back. No, 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 let me grab it. I need to grab it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna grab a snake, guys. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. I got a sea snake, guys. Yeah. All right, we'll put it back in. See you, mate. Watch out, man. Sea snake. That's probably the easiest snake I'll ever pick up. No. That's probably. Don't pick up a snake now. <laughs> oh well. That's the end of that session, fellas. On that last night, Heidi and Matt find some sharks with the drone and manage to send their bait out a couple of hundred meters out in that same area. Not long after, we hear some shouts and realize Heidi was onto a shark. Come on, Come on you, Heidi. He's on a good fish. Can you see it or not yet? Uh, we're gonna climb. Go, go. What's going on guys? It is the end of our Fraser men's trip in August 2022. Uh, yeah, it's come to the end. It's pretty sad. Final goodbyes here at Rainbow Beach. And it's been an awesome trip. What did you think? Oh, caught some crazy fish. Thanks to all the lads for, um, you know, joining on the trip. It's been ultimate. So, yeah. Cool. See you guys later.